So let's say you have your mesh mixer uh, file that's the 3D scan of your recipient's um, residual limb, and you want to do some modeling around that infusion. So to do that, you're going to first need to bring that model into the Fusion 360 environment. And to do that, we're going to go up to Create. We're going to go down to Create Mesh. We're going to import our mesh by going Create and Insert Mesh. And I'm going to import the uh, mold that I created uh, in Fusion from my 3D scan. So once I have that imported in OK, we don't need to do anything else in this mesh environment. We're going to finish this mesh off. Now I need to switch Fusion from the solid body modeling that I have into kind of the sculpting mode. And to do that, I'm going to go up to Create and go down to Create Form. And this is going to put us into our sculpting environment. It tells us, and we see this up here at the top where, where I kind of start to turn purpley colored. I'm going to use my cube up here at the top right, and I'm going to kind of zoom around. I can see a right-hand view, and I'm going to zoom actually to the back view of this hand. And to create a mesh around this, to create a T-spline, actually, T-spline body around this that I can then um, bring into the solid body modeling to, to do some interesting things with, I'm going to first try to model this whole hand in kind of a cylindrical shape. You can see from the back, it's kind of circular shaped. And from the side, it's kind of long, rectangular shape. So a cylinder is a good good kind of shape to choose. So we're going to go up to Create, and we're going to go to Cylinder. And then I need to select which plane I want to work in. And I actually am going to approach it from the back. This I'm going to draw a cylinder around here. So rather than the bottom kind of plane, the plane on kind of the side of the screen, I'm going to go to the back plane, the plane of the actual um, computer screen that you're, that you're looking at. And I'm going to kind of go to the center. You can see it's kind of picked out a center point for you. Uh, that's the little square that Fusion draws. It found the center of this, um, this model. And I'm going to draw uh, a circle. The circle's going to be too big. That's fine. We actually want it to be a little bit big so that we can kind of mold things in with our bottle, uh, with, our, with our cylinder, because uh, we're in kind of a sculpting kind of environment. And I want to zoom over to the side, and I want to make sure that I encompass the whole hand up until where these fingers are. So these fingers, I'm going to actually need to model in um, some holes for those fingers to come through. So I don't want to put space there, but I do want space in between because maybe I want to attach a couple extra fingers uh, or maybe I can fit one or two fingers into that space um, to, to kind of give our recipient um, more fingers to work with. So I'm going to drag this out a little bit further so that I have a little bit of space inside of there. So if you can imagine, I'm going to be able to actually model in a kind of a bridge that kind of molds around this uh, portion of the hand and, and gives me some, some real estate that I can attach some fingers on here. So we've got our general shape. We've got the right length. Uh, let's go ahead and click OK. The only other thing to notice here is that these little windows, these little um, clicky boxes. I can click on this and I can increase the number of lines or decrease the number of lines. And that just gives you more surfaces that you can work with. Because as I do my modeling, uh, so I do my sculpting, I'm going to be clicking these individual faces. I'm going to be kind of dragging them in and out. Uh, and if I want more faces to work with, then, then I can increase that number. I'm going to leave that at four and then I could increase the number of vertical um, lines too or decrease as many as I want depending on how detailed I want my model to be. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, actually just just eight. Eight works fine for me. And I'm going to click OK. And now I've got my cylinder. So we've got our nice little cylinder and now I need to start sizing it down to actually fit um, this, this, uh, this 3D scan that I have. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get a better general shape than the cylinder because this is I, want, I really want more of an ellipse. So to do that, I'm going to kind of look from the side, I'm going to click once, and I'm going to highlight everything. By highlighting, I can right click and I can go to Edit Form, and that's going to let me edit this form that I have here, this uh, cylinder that I have. And then we have our editing actual options. If you look at this, I have the transport, Transform Mode in my Edit Form dialog box. This is multiple transforms that I can do. It's a combination of the translation, which you notice is the up and down arrows, which make me, uh, which lets me move up and down or left and right, or kind of I can get a kind of free form motion if I use the rectangular box. 
or I can have rotation if I just want to rotate things around. We'll show you what that looks like in a moment. Or I can have the scale option, which lets me scale, make things bigger in X, or scale, make things bigger in Y, uh, whatever I want to do. Or I can combine them all into the multi-tool, which just has all of the boxes right there uh, ready for me to click on. So I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to move it and kind of click on these different parts of the these different tools that show up in that multi-tool. So I'm going to shrink this down a good bit. Maybe I want to rotate it around because my uh, model is kind of rotated. And then I want to bring the y-axis down a little bit. Brought it down a little bit too far. Maybe I want to move. Maybe I want to rotate around. And I'm trying to get a nice general shape. That kind of gets a close enough fit uh, without being too close. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I've kind of approximated the general shape. So now I can click OK. What I want to do now is I want to actually start trying to get the cylinder to match the actual shape. And we can see to do that, in some places I need to change the cylinder more than others. So at the back part, if we zoom around and kind of look from the side, so we can turn off our body, I can see that my hand, the 3D model of my hand, very small on the left hand side so I need to shrink kind of this side of the cylinder but I don't want to shrink the right side of the cylinder or I want to shrink the the bottom parts bring those in a little bit and the top parts not so much so to do that I need to select specific faces so let's turn my body back on and I just want to select individual faces to actually shrink down so there's lots of ways you can do this if you want to be very careful you can actually just uh, highlight a face Hold down the shift key and then click on all the faces that you want to actually work with. And then we can right click and we can go to edit form. And then I can zoom around to the back. We can just uh, kind of fly around to the back rather. Uh, and I can actually change the size of this. I can shrink this down. And I can shrink it down from the top. And I can move it. And I'm really trying to get a nice, nice, good fit to the back half, of, back part of this hand. Shrinking it down. And you notice that when I'm doing this, it's changing the whole thing. It's sculpting the whole body that I'm working with. So even though I'm only changing, uh, clicking to change these faces, those are the ones that are most affected, uh, but the whole body is actually being rotated around and being, being changed around a little bit. Okay, so I am getting some little bit of um, uh, kind of kind of curvature, kind of kind of change in my shape overall. Okay, so that looks that looks okay to me, and maybe I need to bring in the uh, the next part, so these next faces. So I can click on those. And again. There are quicker ways to make selections. This is the, um, the, the idiot-proof way, individually clicking. Uh, and I want to change this shape a little bit. I want to bring it in just a little bit, shrink it down. And we'll notice that as I'm shrinking it down, I'm going to have a little bit of the, the model is actually going to poke through. That's OK. We can work with that. Not a problem. Okay, so I brought that in a little bit, maybe a little bit too much, and then I want to start bringing in some of these other faces. Uh, it looks like here, I really, I don't, I don't want to change this size too much, so I can just click on one face, and I can just edit one face. I can bring that one face in. Just a little bit. And I can move it all around as much as I want. And I want to bring in this face and I can bring in this face and all I'm doing right now is I'm just generally dragging things around trying to get a nice good approximation to to my general shape I can do this with edges as well if I want to just bring this edge in I can click on the edge and if we look I've got the edge selected and I've got my multiple option dialog up and as I move this around, that's just going to kind of drag that edge in just a little bit. Okay. 
And as I'm doing this, you might notice that the parts of your model start to stick out. It's not a problem. You can click on your little um, face and you can you can drag these pieces back out. So I can click on a face and I can drag this face back out so that it doesn't um, go internal to the actual uh, actual 3D model. So I can bring this guy in. That kind of messed up my faces so I can bring my edges out. And what you're doing, you're just playing around. You're gradually changing the shapes until you get a nice fit to whatever you want to actually uh, have, have modeled. So you can see I'm getting, a, I'm getting the general shape, slowly yet surely, by just clicking and adjusting little faces, little bits here and there. I can do faces and I can do edges. And it's just just gradual tweaking to get this the way that you want it. Okay. Come up here, maybe bring this face out a little bit. Zoom in around. Bring the face out. Come around to our front, see how we're fitting in our front. And we kind of need to bring some of these faces in so we can do that. We can click, uh, hold down shift to select multiple faces. And I'm going to bring in multiple faces. So shift, click, and I can bring in these faces. Shift to select multiples, and I can bring in both of these bit. I'm trying to get a reasonably good approximation of this shape. I've come a little too far, so I can click the face, drag it out a little bit. Click the edge, maybe drag the edge out a little bit. And again, there's no hard and fast rules for this. We're just uh, adjusting things by ear to try to get a good fit to the model, to the internal model on the inside. This guy. Let's bring him up a little bit. And there we have a general shape that kind of surrounds this hand. I'm a little bit slower than uh, very good experts at this. If we wanted to get better resolution, we could. We could bring in some of these faces a little bit. So you can see when I bring this face in, uh, that's a little bit too much to bring in. It kind of destroys, but I still want to bring in some of this curvature. So what I can do is I can go to this uh, modify option and I can subdivide. And that's going to break this into four faces. So I can take those individual faces and I can do more with those. So if I want to just bring in this part just a little bit, I can do that. So that gives me a little bit more resolution that I can work with. So I can click on just that little piece and I can bring just that little guy in. Or if I want to bring just this little guy in. Or I can subdivide this piece. Let's subdivide. Click OK. And then we can uh, bring this little piece out. So we can see that's how we got a little bit closer of a fit on the inside, and I could continue to, to adjust this and, and manipulate it. Now, once you get a nice good fit that you're happy with, you can actually use Fusion after you've got your approximate shape to really get a very, very tight fit. So to do that, I'm going to zoom out so we can see. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go up to Modify, and I'm going to go down to Pull. I'm going to click Pull, and that's going to do a nice good fit to everything where it's going to kind of pull your mesh in to, to fit very nicely with, with the uh, shape that you have. You can click on some of these points and that'll give you a little bit more mesh and click OK.